Buffalo, New York, what's a crack of lacking? So I decided to, I haven't made videos in, uh, in quite some time. I've been really super busy, but I decided to record my Christmas Eve leg training video and uh, a little uh, Christmas uh, day uh, present opening for you guys too as well. So as you can see, I uh, what I do is I get on the leg press machine and I bring my feet close because I feel like that works more of your outer quads and I bring my foot position up because it hits more of uh, the back hamstring and glute area tie-in which I need work on and um, this was pretty much a, a, a hamstring day it's my hypertrophy day but I I make it more of a, a hamstring day for me so I start out with one plate and I pyramid up and I get around anywhere from 50 reps to 20 repetitions and I got this actually from Levi Burge and WMBF Pro that I feel is going to be one of the best in the world. The guy, um, he doesn't do full repetitions on the leg press, but you know while doing that, that leaves all the resistance and tension on your quads. And when I get off of this leg press, leg press, leg press machine, come on, Joe, get with it. My legs are fully engorged, fully pumped, and it's just a, a great overall feeling. Another thing I do is I uh, because one one quad is is dominant and it's a, a little bigger than the other. I do single leg leg press leg press pushes as well. Same thing, for foot placements the same, but like I said, I want to make my my legs um, a little more equal in size, and the one is is dominant. So this will definitely do the trick, guys. And it's a, a different pump, so why don't you guys uh, you know give it a try? It's quite, it's quite hard. It's nothing like doing leg press with two legs. So, got this from Lane Norton. Okay. Next up was three to four sets of lunges. Uh, picked this up from a good another WNBF pro, Eugene Ring. He's instead of stopping with the lunges, you just continuously just go and the pump is like no other right here I had 50 pound dumbbells on the power days I'll work my way up to about 80 and I won't get as far I usually stop right around there and then circle back but with the 50s I like to just keep going until failure I probably could have went the other direction but like after the leg presses my legs were pretty shot uh, I finished off with um, for the back hamstrings I finished off with some stiff legged deadlifts but as you can see my legs really aren't um, they're not locked. I like to ha uh, have a little bend. I stick my glutes, aka my ass, as far back as possible to get that stretch back in the glute um, ham tie-ins because that's where I need work. You'll get a nice pump off your uh, lower back with these as well. Started off with uh, 65s and I worked all the way up to I believe the 80s. Once again, I you can probably go or I could probably go a lot heavier and you guys can as well but I like to leave a little in the tank I never like to go full out 90 to 100 percent you know RPE rate of perceived exertion I like to leave a lot in the tank because there is just so much volume with this program once again I'm running fat power hypertrophy split by lean Norton I have to be honest with you I've never ran this before it's an old program but it's a lot of volume but it, it works it definitely is doing the trick ran all the power lifting splits and this just seems to seems to hit up with so much volume so okay guys hope all is well don't forget to subscribe and uh interviewed some lady that used to live in chicago i hope you like what she had to say let me know who your favorite running back or who you think the best running back of all time is i'm very curious okay guys hope all is well and that's it Okay, guys, we're at Steel Mill Gym, and uh, Diana, Diana, right? That's the name? Okay, th is this okay? This is going on YouTube, right? Yeah, sure, my sure. My name is not Diana, it's Di. Di, excuse me, Di, Di. Okay, Diana, Di, shit. <laughs> Who is the greatest running back of all time? Of all time, it has to be Walter Payton of the Chicago Bears, number 34, Sweetness. Sweetness. Now, how would you know this? How would I know this? Yes. Because I lived in Illinois, so my very first game when I was three, and he was awesome, awesome, awesome. And he had a good hire. You just and, hit. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah. What What about Jim Brown? Would Jim Brown compare? Or no. 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 Sorry. Okay. Die. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Walter Payton. Thank you. We still remember you, Walter. Yes, we do. 
Come on, Antonio, push. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little boy. Come on. Up. Man, he's giving it a go. He's got his Green Lantern turn on. Green Lantern, man. Superheroes come out. Come on. I'm gonna take the force. Come on, let's go. Up. Come on, force it. Up. Come on, go. Up. Oh boy, push. I'm gonna make him bleed. Make him bleed. Come on. Up. Oh boy. You got more? You got more? Come on. Up. Man, this is the longest set ever. Up. Come on. Shit. He doesn't want to look at the camera. He's just camera shy. That sucks. <laughs> that is the longest set ever. Yo, say something to Chris Jones. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Say, say, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do a, what's called a, a mystery set. Okay, mystery set, guys. Mystery set. So relax now. Am I not supposed to look at the weight? Nope, give me 10. No, what the? I hate you. <laughs> fifteen, fifteen. fifteen. What? Oh my God. Oh. Five. Five. Let's go. Five. Three. Come on. Come on. Last one. Last one. Three thirty. Thirty. Yep. Let's go. Coming down. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty. Let's go. Nineteen. Let's go. Let's go. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Woo! All day, baby! I like this kind of party. All day. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you think Santa came? No, Santa's coming. He's coming. He's no good. No, no, Santa's good guy. Santa's fatty. Santa's fatty. <laughs> no, Dad. Yeah, Santa came. What's this? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Man, it's a little pea shooter tree. Can you me, man? How, what do I do? Just hold it. Sure. Is that already taken? Yeah. Okay. Dad, say something funny. Something funny. You funny guy. <laughs> What's this? A starter coat. Right. Wow. Man, Florida. 
Starter. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you like that? I like it. All right. I saw it already. Let's try it on. Does he got another one each? Just, a, yeah. Oh, I can't. They didn't wash it either. Oh. Well, all right, man. Oh, this I'm not nice gonna either. That's nice. I'll wash it. No, I don't it's want. Really I don't want nice. you to wash. I'll get it clean to the cleaners. No, I don't want. It's it's vintage. Take a look at yourself, man. It looks nice. <laughs> it's, I like that thing in the front here. What is that? Joe? It's, a, it's a starter. No, no, I mean that thing right here. Oh, it's a it's a what thing? This that right there. Yeah. Oh, it's a pullover. Oh. <laughs> I already pressed oh it. Okay. Hang on. He wants his taped. Who, who's this from? This is for Santa. Recording. <laughs> from Paul and Alicia. And... Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> yes. At least you got it. Star screen. Star screen. Woohoo! All right, this thing is huge. He likes it. When did? Wow! Wow! Isn't that awesome, Dad? That's pretty Alicia, nice. Alicia, when did she get her kitchen set? Hey, Alicia, Paul, thank you. He's happy with his. <laughs> Look at these all excited like a little baby. That's awesome. Can I open it? Who cares? Okay. When okay, here, Joe. Merry when did she get her kitchen set? <laughs> <laughs> what did she do when she saw it? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Kind of, 